Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the content, you'll think about subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. So I mentioned in my last video, I have been on vacation, but I'm back now. And now I have time to film and update you guys because I do have a group of mail. So right now we have um, an unboxing. I've actually had this for quite some time, probably two or three weeks. I just haven't had a chance to get to it. But this is my last and final order that I have had outstanding from Mary's Diamonds. Now, I know there have definitely been some mixed emotions and the fact that every order is not create, treated equally for basically to sum it all up, which is unfortunate. And it really does upset me that not everybody um, has had a fabulous experience. So I've been fortunate enough that um, I have not had a horrible experience, but I will say that their customer service definitely needs to be worked on and they have a lot of stuff to figure out. But enough about that, uh, let's get into this right here. So I did receive this in this, um, the trash bag, the infamous trash bag that we always see. There is a tear in it. So let's see what the rest of it looks like. Now my first order from them, the boxes were in shambles. My second order, the boxes looked great. However, I was told I was supposed to have ABs and I didn't, but I don't feel like dealing with their shit. Yes, and I said it, their shit. Let's see how this is. So right now, this is kind of stuck to the bag. And the boxes are, this one's not too bad, but this one is smushed and beat up. But I don't think um, it's going to really affect anything. So we have two right here. We have our branded boxes. I really wish that they would update the way that they mail them and not put them in these flimsy trash bags that don't protect anything. So that's strike one. However, I do like the box. Um, I wanna do the smaller one first. Put this one down here. Put our cellophane. If you guys have never ordered from them before, Here's what their box looks like. We have our instructions, how to diamond paint. Here's a scan code right here, branded on the back, on the sides. Now I just wanna make it, uh, put it out there that although I have had good experience and everything, that does not mean that I'm not going to give a very honest review of what's in here. I don't even remember what this is. That's how long I've had it. All right, so it's out of the box. It does come in the plastic cover. It is poured glue. And let us open this. Um, the edges are a little crinkled, but it does not, not the actual feel that it's itself. So the back of the canvases are very soft cotton-like feel. We do have our surged edges. We have branding at the top. That way the canvas won't fray with the surged edges. And like I said, branding on the top. It is poured glue. So with the toolkit, you get a bigger boat with higher edges, some gold sharp pointy tweezers. I'm just going to open it. And I will link up in the eye my other unboxings from Mary's Diamonds so you can kind of check it out. So we have our pen with our thin four placer blue squishy. Um, thing of wax. It's the kind, it's very transparent, so I probably won't use this one. It's cracked through it, so that means that it's hard, maybe it's old. We get a big old, uh, can't see, but maybe it 
10 placer thin, so I like that. And then we have some gold tweezers and they're very, they're the pointy kind. So please be careful and put the sheath back over it. So that's what you get in your toolkit. We do have our drills and I do see some ABs. So that's cool. These drills are pre-bagged, but we'll get into that later. Let me, I'm gonna roll this off camera. And since it is poured glue, we can roll it backwards. Now I saw this image and I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Of course, I did not think to look who the artist is um, before I did this. So I apologize, but it will be linked in the description below. So I saw this image and I was just so in love with it. It was the cutest thing ever. I mean, if I turn it the right way. So we have this adorable little sea turtle. Look at this little octopus and his big eyes, or her, either or. So, so cute. So, oh my God, I saw, I was like, I don't care. I have to have this one. We have our two legends. So in the upper, upper corner right up here. And then down here. There is no thumbnail. There is no inventory sheet. So that is kind of worrisome. It's, I don't think it'd be that difficult for them to print out an inventory sheet to include so you know which ones that you have. You know, make sure you have all of your drills. Let's check the stickiness. Very, very sticky. I've never had an issue with their stickiness. So of course I have yet to actually work on one of Mary's diamonds. pull the plastic back here. This drill field is very, very clear, very clear. And I'm not gonna pull out all the drills, but we will go over, uh, cause there is ABs. So we're gonna see where the ABs actually are. So let me uh, pull this up right here so you guys can see on um, staticky, it's very staticky. The drill field is very, very clear. Let's look at the symbols. So there is um, checkerboard kind of color blocking. Let me put this back. You guys know mine is not that great with this cellophane cover. There are 25 colors. I'm sorry, there is a thumbnail. I'm so sorry, I didn't even see it because it's so little. There's the thumbnail right there. We have our branded canvas. And again, I apologize for not knowing the artist, but like I said, I will link it below. We have our turtle right here with these flowers and leaves. And out of the 25 colors, they're listed at the bottom. So this is, should have three ABs and how they do their ABs, they put it at the bottom. So according to this, there should be 5200 white AB, 666 red AB, and then the green 703 AB. Here are our drills right here. Once again, I do enjoy the fact that they are already pre-packaged and it saves me time from having to kit up and kit down because it is really not my favorite thing to do. There's a lot of tans and browns and coral peach colors in here, very, very subtle, but I am going to pull out the ABs. Now they all are all in order. And of course, I didn't even tell you guys what size this is. It is a 45 by 60 square, or round, because Mary's Diamonds only does the AB in rounds. Yeah, so right here, 45 by 60, and it also tells you the number of the canvas and, the, and uh, how many colors are in it as well. So the first is our white AB. And as you can see, there isn't very many. That's not too much right here. So the white AB is gonna be a V. So let me see if I can lower you guys down a little bit without creating any 
ginormous earthquake. Ah, like I said, trying. All right. So right off the bat, you can see a little bit highlighted on this tentacle right here. There's some V's. There's some V under the eye right here. And yeah, I already did this one. And that is it. So that is kind of disappointing right there. Like why have ABs if you're only going to have a couple? I mean, yes, they gave me plenty, which I'm gonna save them, but that's really like two spots. Oh, I'm sorry. There's some in both the eyes too, but still. All right, the red is a W. So let's see where the W's are. So we have some W's on the inside of this flower right here, but not on this one. And then there's some W's right here. And that is it. That's really sad. So just in those two little spots. Now for the green. The green is an X. So outlined of this leaf right here, down the center of this leaf right here, down the center and around here of this leaf, far leaf over here, but nothing in this leaf. That is, that is really disappointing. Come on, Mary's Diamonds. If you're going to have ABs, make it have ABs. It almost like, it doesn't even motivate me to want to like use any of my own to bling it up. There's hardly any in here. All right, so let me put these back. Take me two seconds and we're gonna move on to the next one. The, drip, the, the quality of the drills looks really good too, so at least that's a plus. All right, and we're gonna move this over here. So I'm gonna assume that this second one is gonna be very similar. Remove the cellophane. Yeah, this box is pretty beat up right here. Oh, also, your if you use the box, the number of the kit is right out here, so that way you can remember what it is. This is ain't ragged about the dang tear. Look, it just tore. That's how raggedy it is. Okay, so disclaimer before I get into this one, okay? And I'm gonna try and raise you guys up a little bit. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Now, I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. But before you say it, I'm going to put myself out there. We all know that I do not like confetti. I don't mind a little color blocking confetti. I don't mind a little confetti here or there. But I do not like confetti. However, when I saw this image, all of my utter loathing for confetti flew out the window. Because I had to have this. So, um, I'm not giving it away. You guys know I've said it a few times before and you've seen some of my accessories that I'm a huge Adventure Time friend, fan. It means a lot to me because my youngest, Bella, and I would always watch Adventure Time. We loved the show. Well, until Flame Princess got introduced. And once Flame Princess got introduced, then it, it wasn't any good anymore. So when I saw this, I was like, this is going to be amazing. It will be worth every headache I have. So once again, here's our toolkit right here. I'm probably just gonna save the multi-placers and maybe the scissors. Bag of drills right here. So consistency, consistency at least it's pre-bagged. 
and I'm gonna roll this off image off. The canvas is, you know, it's the same type of canvas that um, Bella Safina and Sherry Baldi use with their kits. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Can you tell yet? I know you can already see this insane confetti right here. I just want, oh my God. Okay, you guys, look. Peppermint Butler. Peppermint Butler, a punk peppermint butler. And his little candy corn mouse, which I forgot the name of it. This is a new artist that was licensed when Mary's Diamonds did that huge um, new release. And I will also link that artist down below too because I can't remember. We have again our two le legends. There are 26 colors and there are three ABs in here. The same white, the same red, but then there is a yellow AB, 743 AB. And it's called Forth the Beast. So, first of all, we've got our our horns right here. I'm going to thank Ronnie James Deal for that. Second, Pepper Butler is wearing a Metallica shirt. I'm that is the album home for Justice for All, I'm pretty sure. Call Forth the Beast right here. And this graffiti looking type background. And I want to say down in here, I'm not quite sure what that is, but it might be the artist's signature. I'll have to look. I do see that this canvas was not cut straight at the bottom. It's thicker here than it was oh, is over here, but it's gonna get framed anyway. But presentation, the drill field is clear and we do have our light symbols on our dark, dark background and then the black symbols on the lighter background. So I appreciate that. Let's check the stickiness. At least my kits came in really good shape, so I'm happy about that. Very, very sticky. The drill field is very clear. I will show you guys. There at least is some color blocking on here up on top of Peppermint Butler. And then in some of these backgrounds, if you guys hear some squeaking, that's just Zeus playing. This is very sticky. So there is the drill field right there. I'm trying to show you guys without too much glare. I really hope the lettering on his shirt shows up because that would be awesome. We have the little crosses right here. Got his little ripped jeans and his Converse on. So let's check out where these ABs go. Once again, this is also a, this is a 50 by 60 round. Cause like I said earlier, the round kits are the only ones that come with ABs. There is lots and lots of black. There is also no DMC codes on the actual bags. They're just numbered. So our ABs are going to be these last three bags I'm gonna pull out. And once again, they're for a kit this size, there doesn't see, seem to be that much. So once again, here's our 5200. And that is a W, just like the last one. So let's see where that will go. So we have some W's right here and all around the little bubble, speech bubble. There are no W's at all. on Peppermint Butler or his little mouse. Come on, come on, Mary Diamond, seriously. Oh, there's some highlighting, a little couple of sprinkled through the outline of Peppermint Butler, but none over here near his hand. That's disappointing as well. Just 
all around the speech bubble, highlighted around Peppermint Butler, and that is it. Next is the 666, which is an X. I mean, all right. There's some ABs on his little peppermint spots right here. So it's sprinkled all through here. And that is all I'm seeing. I mean, if you're going to put ABs, put ABs. It's almost like why bother to even offer them. And next, our last one is Y. This, this yellow right here. 743. So there are some Ys here in Candy Corn Mouse. Dude, are you serious? That is it. That is the only Ys right here out of this whole 50 by 60 kit. That's it. So Mary's Guys, my suggestion to you would one, be getting better packaging, shipping packaging, and your actual mail system. Use a different company, do something because they do not, I know it's out of your control once it leaves, but if you invested in a box or something sturdier than that black trash bag thing, First impression would be a lot better. Second, your your customer service. Although I've never had an issue, besides sometimes it, is, it takes a long time to get back. Um, you need to really work on that. And not make excuses. Take ownership. Hire people that are going to be proud of the brand and make the business work. Third, if you're going to offer ABs, you need to... Put ABs and chart ABs on your actual kit. Not just give me a little sprinkle of some ABs. Yeah, you gave me more than I need, which is awesome. But there's literally like a handful here and there, and that is it. Um, other than that, though, I am happy that my kits came in good condition. I am happy with the quality of the drills and that nothing was damaged. However, I feel like those three mentioned, those three things mentioned first would uh, change people's views and, and minds and uh, bring them more business. So I am happy with these two. So we have Peppermint Butler. Um, maybe I'll do him around Halloween time. It depends when I wanna, you know, go forth with the confetti. I'm hoping that it will look amazing with detail. And then second, we have our adorable little octopus with his, uh, his turtle. And once again, you know, there's barely any, there's more ABs in Peppermint Butler charted than there is in the octopus. So we will see how it turns out, but I am excited and I am happy with what I have received. So I will link these two kits down at the bottom for you guys to uh, check out, take a look, see if there's anything else that catches your eye. I'm probably done for a while ordering from them just because they're not bringing anything that's catching my eye to the table. So, all right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. And I will talk to you later. Bye.